hey guys what's up welcome back i am back with another video from let's keep it real guys so it looks like that the jury uh trial has began today for child custody and uh, you can see where bozo put uh first day of my custody trial so yes guys he is obviously and we saw um you know royalty in the video where she was getting ready so um Clearly, Bozo the Clown, you know, feels like he has a strong chance. And in doing a little bit more research, guys, uh, I researched that a 90%, a staggering amount of 90% of women are the ones who usually, staggering amount, 90%, obtain full primary custody. Fathers play a role, but generally, it's given to the mother. Why? Why? I have no answers for that. I don't know why, you know, but in this situation, it definitely should be, you know, to the mother, 100% custody and, and he gets, you know, visitation and of course has to pay child support. Um, But, you know, remember everything that we discussed is a legend solely and strictly for entertainment. We cannot confirm nor deny any of this because we are not in the room for the hearing uh, to determine or give our opinion. We're just trying to figure this out on our own, you know. Um, but as I said before, the percentage historically has been 90% of women are the ones who gain primary custodial um, care or rights over the children. Meaning that the mom is the one who has them and the father, like I said, again, he gets visitation and, you know, of course, he's going to have to pay child support. It's just that simple. But um my whole thing is, is that the nerve of this individual to continue and to follow through with this child custody as if he has a good chance, you know, you know, and I'm hoping that people pulled up the records, um, you know, showing where he was at the bus at, no, it was gross, at the bus stop, Lord, uh, where he was at the pickup site and he waved an armed uh w-e-a-p-o-n in front of the children and other innocent bystanders you know i hope those things are raised i hope the whole va is raised. you know is raised as well and um you know the constant harassment the constant bashing in social media uh, the individuals that have nothing to do with the case, i.e. the heels have eyes and then the back, uh, the back and everything. I hope all of that is, you know, brought into the determination, meaning these are facts, you know, this is, this is pl clearly out there on YouTube that, that can be seen. They can pull up video footage, you know, if need be to bring that into, you know, evidence basically. So I'm hoping that all of that stuff is looked at and uh, is addressed and it, it is considered and discussed, you know, when the decision is being made, because this individual does not get the right or should not have the right to have custody, which I doubt if he gets it, you all. I don't I honestly, sincerely don't think he will win for custody. He's wasting his money. He's wasting his time. You know, I guess he believes because he's family got a bunk bed that that means a lot. And he's been keeping him off and on, not full, full, the full time that he was allotted. You know, he's trying to do all of this in hopes that this is going to gain him full primary custody. And the reason I chuckle, <laughs> the reason I chuckle is because he's very delulu. Okay. Like I said, somebody has been putting stuff in his head and chat mm -mm, he it's not gonna happen he can think it all he want and and then whoever told him or whoever told uh, who, several people that told him obviously you know they just had him after wasting his money on a lawyer and the lawyer could have done him a favor and told him you nine times out of ten you ain't gonna win custody so you might as well just go on and get ready and, and quit wasting your money but you know ain't nobody gonna say all of that they want their money which you know i can't blame them uh he wants to spend it, then by all means, then, you know, I would take it too. But so anyway, guys, back to what I was saying, um, you know, it, it, the whole, the whole moral of the story is, you know, do right, do better by, you know, the people that you claim to care and love about do better by them, you know, next time around, if you get that opportunity again, which he probably won't, but he should have kept in mind, you know, the individuals that were really in his corner at the time, instead of taking them for granted. And then he would not be here today trying to lie and make up and want somebody to feel sorry for him and want somebody to hold his hand and want somebody to coddle him and acknowledge his 
his rights as a dad. We know he's a dad. We know that. But as far as him having the right to have full custody, no, no, not now and not never. And so I hope he gets that and understands that now. Meaning once that decision has been made and it has been handed down and ordered, then, you know, hopefully he'll just let it go. Because like I said, it's not going to happen. He will not get full primary custody. He will get visitation rights, you know. Um, I don't want him to get 50-50, but he definitely won't get full primary custody. That's never going to happen. And, you know, um, he's going to have to pay some kind of support, whether he likes it or not, Whether even though we know he's trying to avoid it. So he needs to get ready and go on and get that checkbook out and that money he's been putting back and tucking away and then trying not to record because he wants his income to look like it's low. You, you still, you, she, got th she got five kids, guys, five kids. So there's nothing he could say or do. I don't care if he did get that DNA to live with him. There's nothing he could say or do. He still got to come out of them pockets. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below and, uh, you know, make sure sure you send your support for royalty and uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe to let's keep it real and you can always donate to my cash app uh let's keep it real two l's at the end and i'll be back soon guys with another video mm -hmm.